Hi everybody, this is Dr. Neelam again. Hello. I, I got another question from you. I, uh, three of you asked almost a similar question, so I will try to answer this one in the video today. You asked about the, uh, the state of mind, uh, how we can control our state of mind. Uh, for me, I mean the neurophysiological state of mind is a excellent way if you can um, if you can control that you can also control your way to excellence uh, because if you think about it um, as a doctor uh, in the morning I, I ate breakfast I have uh, I, I have rested and I I'm very more patient towards the patients I am uh, more happy I, I'm excited I'm vibrant I'm uh, feeling more alive but during the day uh, as as I'm getting tired it's my energy is de declining I'm feeling tired of course then I'm not in that same resource resourceful state of mind as I was earlier in the morning so the if you can control your uh, neurophysiological state you can also control uh, how you behave uh, because as a waiter uh, uh, you, you're probably when you start your duty you you get really nice clients and customers and you're helping but during the day maybe you have the same kind of customers and clients but you're feeling more tired you, you're you're hungry you want to go home uh, or you didn't have a good enough break and so your um, state of mind, your neurophysiological state will change during the day. So the point is, if you can control it and you can most of the time be in a vibrant, excited, uh, very positive mind of uh, mind, like state of mind, you can actually be more, um, uh, You it's better for you, like it's in a better way for you to achieve your goals. Because, uh, but it's not only like uh, how we are feeling. If I'm feeling sick, of course, I'm maybe more in or in a pain uh, or in a dehydrated state. I, I'm more uh, like angrier. I'm not in a mode or, or in a stature, status where I can get all the information in, absorb it, be happy. I mean, not a, in a learning state. But if I'm feeling very vibrant and alive, I'm in a state where I'm, uh, open for your responses maybe even your critiques and i can work with it so my point is that you can actually choose how you your state of mind is in a certain degree because we are a product of our past so of course what we learned in our past maybe from our parents how they were concerned or how they have to didn't have enough food or so we we also learn how we um, uh, copy uh, their patterns because we learn from our parents uh, we inherit the same way of maybe thinking or worrying as I said so we should we should think that if we know all this we have to be more um, open to see ourselves in different situations and from there on we should uh, decide that okay I want to be in a more resourceful state I want to be in more positive way of uh, thinking I want to be in a neurophysiological state which is very positive for me how can I do that yes to sleep enough not be so tired maybe uh, eat a good full meal uh, try to be very observative about it and then you can uh, when you start learning your behavior in all different kind of situations I think you are very more likely to achieve your goals than if you're in a less resourceful state. So try to think of how, where uh, is my mind now? In what uh, neurophysiological state am I now? Uh, am I open and happy and resourceful? Or am I a little bit mad, angry, or less excited? So you decide in how uh, you want your state, mind of state, like state of mind be and the way you can achieve your goals in a better way. So just think about it next time, okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye.